Could student debt cancellation be the magic wand that wipes away the financial woes of millions of Americans? The topic of student debt cancellation is a hot one, and for good reason. We're talking about a significant number of people affected by student loans. To give you a sense of the magnitude, imagine 45 million people. That's the approximate number of Americans grappling with student loans. And it's not just a few thousand dollars we're talking about. No, the average student loan borrower is wrestling with a debt of around $30,000. That's a new car or a down payment on a house. So, it's no wonder that the issue of student loan cancellation is on the lips of politicians, economists, and, of course, the borrowers themselves. Buckle up as we delve into the evolution of President Biden's stance on student debt cancellation. Remember when Biden first stepped into office? He was faced with the pressing issue of student loan debt, a burden that weighs heavy on millions of Americans. Now, let's wind back the clock and delve into Biden's initial stance on this matter. When Biden took the reins, he was met with calls from numerous quarters for broad debt cancellation. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Elizabeth Warren championed the cause, pushing for the forgiveness of $50,000 in federal student loan debt per borrower. But Biden, he resisted this pressure. He proposed that such sweeping changes should be made through legislation by Congress, not through an executive decision. But that's not to say Biden turned a blind eye to the plight of student borrowers. Quite the opposite. His administration reversed a Trump-era policy, leading to the cancellation of around $1 billion in student debt for borrowers who were defrauded by their colleges. This move brought full loan forgiveness to 73,000 eligible individuals who had previously received only partial relief. Moreover, the Department of Education under Biden simplified the forgiveness process for students who had been defrauded by their schools. The administration also had targeted debt cancellation policies in place for disabled veterans. These measures, while not as expansive as some had hoped, still offered much-needed relief to thousands of borrowers. In addition, Biden extended the pause on student loan payments and interest until at least October 1, 2021. This action gave borrowers some breathing room, a chance to regroup and reassess their financial situations. So, what can we glean from this? Biden's initial stance was clear. He believed in targeted debt cancellation, not sweeping forgiveness. He favored a more measured approach, one that offered relief to those most in need while still maintaining the structural integrity of the student loan system. Biden's initial stance was clear. He believed in targeted debt cancellation, not sweeping forgiveness. Fast forward to March 2021, a significant shift occurred. The Biden administration took a step toward easing the burden of student debt, announcing a cancellation of approximately $1 billion for those borrowers who were defrauded by their colleges. This wasn't a small change, but rather a reversal of a policy from the previous administration, which had provided only partial relief. To put it into perspective, imagine being one of the 73,000 eligible individuals who were previously stuck in a cycle of debt due to the unscrupulous practices of their colleges. Now for the first time, you're hearing that your loans are going to be fully forgiven. The relief must have been overwhelming. This policy change didn't just provide a financial lifeline, it simplified the process for students who had been defrauded by their schools. The Department of Education implemented a more straightforward policy for filing claims of fraud, making it easier for those affected to seek justice. However, while this was indeed a step in the right direction, it fell short of the comprehensive overhaul that many student debt advocates were calling for. High-profile figures like Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Elizabeth Warren had been urging President Biden to forgive $50,000 in federal student loan debt per borrower. However, Biden resisted this pressure, suggesting that Congress should tackle the issue through legislation. The Department of Education already had targeted debt cancellation policies in place for defrauded students and disabled veterans. But could Biden expand these programs to provide relief for hundreds of thousands more borrowers? This was a promising start, but advocacy groups were still pushing for more. In August 2022, Biden took another leap forward. This leap was in the form of a new wave of student debt cancellation, a step further from his previous measures. President Biden announced measures to forgive up to $20,000 in student loans for eligible borrowers. Moreover, he extended the payment freeze until the end of the year, offering a sigh of relief to many borrowers. This new plan was not just a campaign promise fulfilled, but a lifeline to millions of borrowers. The eligibility criteria were quite specific. 
If you were a borrower who made less than $125,000 a year and received Pell Grants, then you could qualify for up to $20,000 in loan forgiveness. Those who earned the same amount but did not receive Pell Grants were eligible for $10,000 in forgiveness. The Department of Education was tasked with providing details on how borrowers could claim this relief through an application process. This move also brought changes to income-based repayment and loan forgiveness after 10 years of payments. However, this wave of loan cancellation wasn't without its potential costs. The cost of this loan forgiveness could be significant, potentially costing the government nearly $300 billion for a one-time cancellation of $10,000 per borrower. Critics argued that loan cancellation may not address the root issue of college affordability and could increase inflation. But most experts believed the inflationary impact would be modest at best. The exact cost of the plan was uncertain, as it depended on how many borrowers would sign up for loan relief. Despite these concerns, the plan was set in motion, aiming to alleviate the burden of student debt for many Americans. With this announcement, Biden seems to be inching closer to the comprehensive debt cancellation that many have been advocating for. This move may not be the sweeping reform some have called for, but it is a step in the right direction. The journey towards student debt cancellation is far from over, but these recent changes mark significant progress in this ongoing saga. As we stand today, the future of student debt cancellation is still uncertain. The Biden administration has taken steps to alleviate some of the burden for certain groups of borrowers, but the scope of these measures is far from comprehensive. Debates continue to rage about the potential implications of more expansive loan forgiveness, with critics expressing concerns about the cost and potential inflationary effects. Despite the cancellation of approximately $1 billion in student debt for defrauded borrowers and the extension of the payment freeze, the call for a more sweeping, across-the-board cancellation of student debt is yet to be answered. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Elizabeth Warren have been urging President Biden to forgive $50,000 in federal student loan debt per borrower. However, Biden has resisted this pressure, suggesting instead that Congress should make changes through legislation. On the other side of the debate, critics argue that loan cancellation may not address the root issue of college affordability. The worry is that the cancellation of student debt could lead to an increase in inflation, though experts believe the impact would be modest. Moreover, the exact cost of the plan is uncertain, as it depends on how many borrowers sign up for loan relief. It's also important to note that private student loan borrowers have not been included in the payment pause or forgiveness discussions. This leaves a significant portion of student borrowers still grappling with their debt. In addition, while the pause on student loan payments during the COVID-19 pandemic has led to improved credit scores and increased financial flexibility for some, this is a temporary measure. The long-term solution to the student debt crisis remains elusive. In the ongoing saga of student debt cancellation, it's clear that the final chapter is yet to be written. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? We started off discussing Biden's initial stance on student debt cancellation, which was largely conservative, resisting pressure to forgive large amounts of debt per borrower. Then we moved on to the first wave of cancellation, an impressive $1 billion of relief for defrauded borrowers. We then delved into Biden's recent changes, specifically the forgiving of up to $20,000 for eligible borrowers and the extension of the payment freeze until the end of the year. We rounded off our exploration with the current state of affairs, including the uncertainty around the timeline for further forgiveness and the alternative options for loan forgiveness. In essence, the Biden administration has made some significant strides in student debt cancellation, despite some initial resistance. However, there's still a long way to go, with critics arguing that these measures don't address the root issue of college affordability. In the world of student debt cancellation, change is the only constant. As we continue to navigate the choppy waters of this issue, one thing's for sure, the conversation is far from over.